John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. Exodus 14 30 Commentary Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. For though it was now six or seven days since they had leave to go out of Egypt, and actually did depart, yet they could not be said properly to be saved, or to be in safety, till this day, when all the Egyptians their enemies were destroyed, that pursued after them, and this was the twenty-first day of the month, and the seventh and last day of the Passover, and was in holy convocation to the Lord, see Gil on Exodus 12. 16. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore, all along, as a late traveler observes, as we may presume, from Stir, or Shur, to Karandal, and at Karandal especially, from the assistance and termination of the current there. The word for dead is in the singular number, and joined with the plural may denote that they saw every one of the Egyptians dead, since they were all destroyed, and not one remained of them, as in, Exodus 14. 28. Aben Ezra thinks the sense of the words is, not that the Egyptians were seen dead upon the seashore, but that the Israelites standing upon the seashore saw the dead bodies of the Egyptians, that is, floating on the waters of the sea, but rather the meaning is, that their dead bodies were by the force of the waters cast upon the shore, and there beheld and plundered by the Israelites. Josephus observes, that the day following, that night the Egyptians were drowned, the arms of the Egyptians being cast on the shore where the Hebrews encamped, through the force of the sea and wind, Moses gathered them up and armed the Hebrews with them, and this will account for it how they came to have arms, since it is highly probable they came out of Egypt unarmed, and how they could fight battles as they did in the wilderness, and when they came into the land of Canaan.